Good evening, everyone. Hello, welcome. Um, welcome to my study. Um, we'll see. Um, oh, now, yes, I can see um, the, um, the notification is on now, and I'm sure the people will begin to um, join us tonight. Where's my book of common prayer? Okay, oh, oh yeah, I got one. Okay. Um, good evening, everyone. Welcome. Um, to, welcome. <laughs> welcome to my study. Um, I'm Father Tamin. I'm the vicar of the parish of St. George Enfield in Freezy Water. Today is um, Sunday. Is it 12th? I think it's the 12th um, of September. 12th? Yes, I think so. Um, yes, anyway. Warm welcome to you all um, to my study. Um, now today in the church um, we tried um, you know, a different style of service and it was our very first time for us to try the, that, well, we call it um, you know, the family service, but it should actually be called as a, you know, an all age service. Whatever they call it, um, you know, it was a different one, um, different style of service. I hope um, we could um, develop that um, I don't, I'm not saying that that was a perfect um, in whatever, they, in many ways, no, it was not perfect, but it is the things that we did for the first time. But anyway, that was, um, it was okay-ish, but um, we have learned, um, I think personally I've learned um, so many things, so um, I'm sure the, um, the next month, in our Parade Sunday, the family service, um, will be much, much better than um, what we um, did today. But I have to say a big thank you to um, you know, everybody who got involved, and especially a big thank you to uh, Carol <laughs> for helping um, to me, leading um, you know, the singing. It was lovely to be able to actually sing um, you know, with you. Um, um, I am not going to say much, but um, I think I have to mention this. Um, do you know in the morning we had 8.30, um, you know, the Eucharist service. We offered, you know, service at 8.30 and we had another service at 10 o'clock. But during the, um, 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 our parade Sunday, the second reading, we used um, St. Paul's letter to the Galatians so um, what we learned was, um, you know, the nine, we counted it, and the nine fruits of the Holy Spirit. That was not actually the scripture reading which is set for today, but I just changed it. But I used the first reading and then the gospel reading as it planned. Um, but actual, the reading, the second reading of the day is um, to the, from the letter of James. And then, in that letter of James, it tells us something about our tongue. Show me your tongue. Uh, yeah, tongue. Uh, this is small tongue. <laughs> and then um, the way that James describes um, this tongue, he describes the tongue as not as a wonderful thing, of course, you know, as an important thing. Um, but he pointed out this is small tongue. We can use this tongue to bless, to praise God, and at the same time, to curse someone. Same tongue, we can use this tongue in saying, thank you, Lord. At the same time, on the other hand, we can use this tongue, the same tongue, to curse someone. It shouldn't be like that. That is the message of, um, of you know, the John. So, I used that um, the reading at eight thirty, but I didn't have a, have a you know the chance you know to um, to unpack that. But tonight, um, as part of our thought for tonight, I'd love to actually encourage you and well, including myself, you know you to think about the moment when you hurt someone, not physically, but by using your tongue. With your tongue, we know how to do it. We can say things politely, but we can say the nasty things politely. Do you see what I mean? Think of, let's, let's be honest to ourselves. Let's be honest, um, because no one is going to, you don't need to say anything to anybody. Just think about 
the moment when we were speaking, when we used our tongue to hurt someone, intentionally or unintentionally. I have to confess that if I looked back the moment when I was using my tongue, very sharp, you know, the tongues, I think in many cases, I think it was, with a, was intentional, I have to say, that that's intentional. Because I didn't like something and for whatever reason, I decided to be a very sharp and spiky. Think about that moment. And I think the letter of James, as I just, as we read, um, we can read, it tells us the truth. No, our tongue, we cannot use my to our tongues in praising the Lord and cursing someone at the same time. We should stop using our body, even this, you know, for this little tongue, tiny part of the body, not to be used in a wrong way. So, if you had, like me, if you have ever, <laughs> yeah, hurt someone, or meant or wanted to hurt someone using your tongue, I think it is time for us to ask the Lord to forgive us. It doesn't really matter whether you had the legitimate reason to be angry or not. That's a different thing, I think. Whatever the reason, I reacted it in that way, and that was my intention. And now I can say that was wrong. I cannot excuse to use my body, my tongue, in both praising the Lord and curse someone. Yeah, I think that is something that I wanted to share and with you tonight. It's not a happy thought, I know that, but whenever we were reminded about our sinful nature or this sin or um, anything bad, I always use that opportunity as a time to say sorry, so that we may have the Lord's forgiveness. So tonight, as I said earlier, I'd love to encourage you to think about the moment when you hurt someone using your tongue, probably intentionally, and if we remember any moment, we would love to ask the Lord to forgive all our bad um, behaviour. So that's all for me. I'm going to um, offer three prayers, three short prayers. The first one, I, I usually, I have to say, I used to, um, to use two collects, two prayers. Um, oh God, from whom all holy desires, blah, blah, blah. Light in our darkness, blah, blah, blah. But before we say this at the evening prayer, we're supposed to say the collect of the day or of the week. So um, today it was 15th Sunday after Trinity. So I am going to use today's, well, the collect for this week and um, the well-known, you know, the two prayers before we um, to say um, the, um, um, the grace together. Now, dear my brothers and sisters, let us have a moment of quietness before we say these prayers. Heavenly Father, um, in silence, um, we humbly ask you to forgive us, especially for the moments when we used our tongue in, in bad ways 
especially for me, I don't know much about other people, but for me, um, most of the time it was my intention to hurt someone, to make someone feel uncomfortable sometimes. Whatever the reason, I know that that's not what you want me to do. So forgive my sins. I may not repeat the error again. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Keep, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy church with thy perpetual mercy. And because the frailty of man without thee cannot but fall, keep us ever by thy help from all things hurtful, and lead us to all things profitable to our salvation. And Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works do proceed, give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that both our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee, we being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness through the merits of Jesus Christ our Saviour. Amen. Enlighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of thy only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Now we say the grace together. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. Now, thank you very much for um, joining me and offering this very short um, the night prayer before we go to bed. I hope you enjoy the rest of the day. And once again, um, a big thank you to, um, to everyone who helped us to be able to offer um, the very first time um, the um, um, you know, family service. And, and also, please um, pray for, um, for the development of um, new style of worship at St. George's Church, because it is important for us to be able to be adaptable so that we may be able to um, encourage more um, young people. And also, for those who don't know much about Christian worship yet, um, there must be a newcomers and then I hope um, that we can um, to use this, you know, um, the Parade Sunday as a good platform. We can invite them into the next step. Okay, well, God bless you all. I hope you enjoy the wonderful week. I'll say goodbye and God bless you. Looking forward to see you all again. I can't remember when. <laughs> now, I'm off now. I've done enough today. Bye for now. Oh, by the way, tomorrow, um, if you're a member of you know, the PCC, don't forget we do have a PCC meeting on Zoom. All right? Good night.